Stents a lot can be pretty time consuming, so I've discovered a quick and easy way of creating fast stencils using Photoshop. So let's start with the image. You can use whatever image you want. I'm going to go with this cool portrait. You then want to drop the image into Photoshop. Then you can quickly resize the image, do whatever you want, get it to the size you want, and then you're going to want to click on filter and filter gallery and um, once that's loaded up you can click on the cutout and that basically just makes it into a stencil for you on Photoshop you can adjust these levers I always go with the lower level lower layers sorry and that will make it more stencil street art looking and it will make it a lot easier for when you actually cut out the image so once that's done you can go back to your editing page whatever it's called and I was want to make them how they'll look when you paint them so I always make them black and white or whatever adjust it to how you want your final image to look I'm just going to add a few little structure lines to help with cutting out the image. So here was supposed to be a really nice segment of me actually cutting the stents we've just seen out. But my camera decided it didn't want to work that day. So here's um, a question mark stencil because I don't know where that footage went. But if you do want to learn how that works, stencil stuff works, then watch this other video. Here's some nice clouds for you. Okay, so now the weather's a bit nicer, we can go outside and actually do some painting. I'm just going to prep the canvas. So once that's dry, here's the stencil. You should have seen me cut out. I did just print it off and cut it out if you wanted to know. I should have probably told you that earlier. And then we just want to stick it to the board with some masking tape and it's ready to paint. And there we have it, it's all done. It looks pretty good to be fair. Um, all I did was make it on Photoshop, like you've seen, print it off, cut it out. It makes it a lot easier. But if you do want more tricks and tips on how to make your own stencils, then watch another video and 
subscribe. See you later.